Hello everyone, I'm back and welcome to the day before. So I have been on vacation in America since the 1st of December and I made a lot of videos to go live when I was away so you guys had stuff to watch but I missed a lot of stuff when I was away. <laughs> now one of the things that I missed was the day before. I also missed the launch of the new Warzone map. I missed Lego Fortnite, the God of War DLC. There's a ton of other things that I missed too. And this game... <laughs> oh, you. So they launched this game and they removed it from Steam within four to five days or something like that. You can't even buy it anymore. I've got it on my account. So I want to play this and I want to see what it's actually like. Because I've read some things, I've seen some things, and it has certainly piqued my interest. Now, just as an FYI, if you're somebody who bought this game, as far as I know, Steam are refunding it. Like, I've even seen cases where people have played more than two hours, which is the typical limit on Steam, I think, and they've still got a refund. But, you know, I just, I've just got to see for myself because the trailers were so good. And to kick things off, I thought that we would watch some of the trailers that they released and, you know, comment on them and then actually play the game. Also, when I got back from America, my boiler broke. My central heating system isn't working. And it's like eight degrees. I'm wearing three layers of clothing. And I've got a gaming PC that's going to keep me warm. So we're going to play this for a couple hours, maybe. You know, we'll see how it goes. We will see. But as I mentioned, before we start, let's take a look at some of the gameplay trailers and, you know, like, what did we get before launch? So, sit back, relax, let's, uh, let's have a watch. A short gameplay demonstration trailer for The Day Before, an upcoming open world oh, this looks good. player survival game. The Day Before features a huge, stunningly detailed, post-apocalyptic world destroyed by a terrible virus. Looks kind of next-gen, doesn't it? Great, man. Awesome. We'll look around here, I guess. Shall we split up? Yep. Nice reflections. I'll find out what's in the skyscraper. Okay, and I'll look around here. Looks like a next-gen game, doesn't it? Let's see what we have. Oh, it's got loosing in it. All right, all right, all right. I have found a great cowboy hat. Tell her everything's all right. And there aren't any more guns in the valley. Easy, cowboy. Kind of reminds me of The Division. This is Woodbury Survivor Colony speaking. And what's this? Oh, so it's yep. some kind of radio system. Maybe that's like another group of players or something. Let's find some fuel and go. In the survivor colony, you can sell and buy any items as well as cooperate with other players. Ah. I'm gonna go in that shop and get some loot, I think. The main thing is to be careful because not all players are friendly. <laughs> He's being attacked by a group of players. Watch out. Let's pick up some supplies and get out of here. Let's check it out. Oh shit. It's kinda of like the last of us. Could use some help now. The things are about to get heated. Over here. Look at those physics. Wow. Damn. That was cool. Dude, there's too many of them. I, I gotta go upstairs. 
voice chat as well. Proximity voice chat by the looks of it. Snowstorm? Yo, they got weather biomes. Remember that when you shoot and make unnecessary noise, it can attract unwanted guests even more terrifying than other players. Zombies? The world of the day before is teeming with hungry hordes of bloodthirsty infected, ready to- Oh, a horde of zombies! Yo! Quick, get out of there, man! That was close. You should have seen this shit. It seems he dodged a bullet. Now he's crafting a bandage so he doesn't die. It's got crafting in it as well. Looks like a proper MMO survival game. Shit. Uh oh. Spooky, like horror vibes. There's a few zombies here, isn't there? Nice ambient lighting there. Voice comms, very good. Spooky. This looks sick. Oh, they got driving in it as well, guys. Some like that looks properly open world that with the car. Oh, yo. Hey, yo? Look at the mud physics. Wow. Damn. That's some impressive mud physics there. How do they do that, man? It's kind of like that game uh, Mud Runners or Snow Runners. It, like, looks like better than that. It's incredible. The lighting, it looks like it's like the sun setting. Wind in the trees. Ooh. Look, he's with a friend as well in the other car. Maybe they've gone out on a mission or something. Damn, they're really flexing their muscles with that mud physics tech. Oh, it looks like they found some kind of petrol gas station to loot. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. I think he popped a tire there, didn't he? Binoculars as well. Oh, it looks like some... Someone else has been there, maybe. They've crashed. Hmm. Huh. Gonna go and loot that gas station. No, nope. checking out the police car first. Oh, watch out! That was cool. Kind of a bait and switch there with the zombie. Oh no, they've set off a zombie horde. Damn. You look in the bottom left as well, you see it looks like temperature, energy, food maybe, so you got to manage all that. Really good aim as well. Looks like they've got limited ammo as well in the bottom right. And it, did you see that? He just vaulted over that little... Bit of scenery there. Game's got vaulting in it. Nice. Dropping him. Maybe he's looking for a repair kit or something to fix the vehicle. Any oh, flashlight. Nice. Okay, so he's got some coke there. Looks like he's got some ammo. They done looting this place now? 
Christmas. So it must be set at Christmas time as well, like the division, right? Some kind of pandemic happened. Get the lights on, buddy. Nice. Okay, lights are on. Did a bit of loot, and I think he's going to be able to fix that tire there now. See, it's just 60%. So open the backpack, craft something, repair kit. Nice. Now we can drive it again. Look at that. Perfect. And he goes. So I don't know. Maybe they've like pre-organized on Discord or something if they were going to go to a certain area of the map. Because they did say this is an open world MMO. So it must be a big map. Free roaming players, that kind of thing. It's turned to night as well. You guys notice that in the chat. It's changed from day to night. Water. I wonder if you can swim. Maybe your clothes get wet. Why did he pull over? Oh, did they spot? They spotted something. Get the binoculars out again. What is it? Could be like an an enemy tribe base or something. That's weird. Might be some good loot there though. Hmm. They're gonna go check it out together by the looks of it. Sunrise farm. Oh, hey! Destruction! They've got destruction in the game. That's another one. Tick that. Back of the box. Tick. Oh, some kind of stealth mechanic maybe in the wheat. I like that they're not talking to each other, so they're trying to be stealthy about this because there could be enemy players in there, maybe zombies. A couple of different drivable vehicles there too. That's a great point, Moto. Check out the barn. Gotta be careful. Maybe you could have looted that. Oh, we got some zombies hanging around here. Physics on the tire. Just He just vaulted that fence. Did you see that, guys? He vaulted the fence. I like that they've been stealthy about this as well. They've not alerted anyone yet. What are you going to find in there? Oh, big video camera or something from the 1980s. Oh. Let's go get in that house, man. I want to see what's in there. Come on. What is in there? Size. Oh, no. God, wow, a zombie horde. Oh no. Oh no, guys. Maybe there's a stash? Stash, maybe? Stash a room, maybe? Maybe my internet just went down? Maybe there was a stash? So they've dealt with the horde now. Can they just kind of like... Loot the building or something? Huh. Huh. Oh, some kind of like serial killer vibe, maybe? Nothing in there, buddy. Nothing in there. 
Uh oh. Looks like there's some other players coming in. Maybe they heard the ruckus and have decided to rock up. So there's like different clans that might come and attack you and like go from their base to your base or something. Don't worry, they've got like an underground bunker there. Interesting. You trying to guess the code? Did he get it? Okay, he got it. Nice. In they go. Woo. That was close. What's down here, though? Oh, dear. Sounds like a witch, like from Left 4 Dead, maybe? Oh, sweet. See that guy? He was he was rolling up a sleeping bag then. So what? You you put a sleeping bag down and you can log out of the game and log back in. Looks like they're in New York, downtown. Maybe it's a stash. Oh, gunshot. Just make the birds react and fly away. Some PvP. PvP on the cards. Squad versus squad here. This is really, really interesting. Intriguing, riveting. Oh, did he just down that player? I think he downed him. Oh, he's taking damage now. This is intense. I'm gonna push this guy here. Dropped him. What's he doing? Oh, okay. It's got execution animations. What is that? Oh my, so armored vehicles? A uniquely reimagined journey into post-apocalyptic MMO open world survival. Open world Our MMO survival. Fantastic. And brought to you by the publisher Mytona. The open world of the day before is beautiful and richly detailed. Set in the present day on the US East Coast, following a deadly pandemic. Okay, wow. The game I'm in. begins after you are rescued by the survivors of the Woodbury Colony, your new refuge and safe home. From now on, the doors of Woodbury will always be open to you. Oh, he looks but like a fun character. Create your unique character. Select a personality, choose a gender, and customize every detail. Immersing character customization? In vision of post apocalyptic nice. America. Woodbury survivors are working to rebuild the community. Constantly needing supplies, building materials, and various items. Your main task is to bring as much valuable loot as possible. And in return, you'll be rewarded with a local currency known as Woodbury Coins. Woodbury Coins? Who the hell needs your junk? Keep track of your health, hunger, and thirst indicators. Proper and remember, survival game. Oh, look at that. Are Different zombie. Here, ranging from the vicious infected to other players who are ready to take everything from you. First person We've designed mode. survival in this world to be a thrilling experience. The weapons, which can be modified, are huh. made with maximum realism maximum. to ensure that combat remains deep and engaging at all times. Each weapon boasts unique characteristics, huh. as well as realistic reload and recoil mechanics. I'm sure I've heard that somewhere in another trailer. Completing various community tasks huh. also presents an opportunity to earn Woodbury Coins. Well, well, who do I see here? How's it going, my friends? Woodbury Coins can be exchanged for ammo, from regular to armor-piercing, weapons, protective equipment, backpacks, food, drinks, food, drinks? And medicines. Some kind of place you can hang out with your friends? 
spa access to hey yo i could chill with the boys me start westy tomo lucky your accumulated items by chilling in the spa your storage exchange woodbury coins for cars nice there's some lambos in there distant hard to reach locations You what was that? Your own ranch, oh, you damn. And upgrade houses. Oh, you can build your own house? Furniture and decorations. Yo. Oh, it's like a... Pr wow, okay. The ranch serves as your cozy, safe oasis. Nice. Amidst the post-apocalyptic chaos. Welcome to the next generation of post-apocalyptic MMO open-world survival games. Next generation of post-apocalyptic open-world survival games. Damn, those trailers were great. That looks like a really fun game. Now let's play it. Can't wait for this. I have genuinely not played this yet. So as I said at the start of the stream, I was away when this came out. And... Since then, the game has been removed from Steam. You can't buy it anymore. If you want a refund, you could probably get one. I think it was... I watched a, uh, a skill up video about it. He said that there was about 210,000 copies of the game sold. And at that moment in time, like 90,000 had been refunded. Uh, they've stopped development on the game as well. But you can still play it. I thought that I was going to come home and I wasn't going to be able to play this, so... You know, I just want to... I just want to see. I just want to see what it was actually like. So, first time I've played it, create character. Before the apocalypse... So you've got different classes. And they give you traits. Weight capacity. Pathfinder. I mean, do these actually make that much of a difference? General. Can I hear the voice? All right, the first rule is cardio. Now I get it. Ah, the first rule is cardio. All right, the first rule is cardio. Now I get it. It All sounds right, AI generated, doesn't it? Now I get it. You put a tattoo on. Nice makeup. I don't really care about this, so... Finalize. Character's name. Joanna. Select server. Now this is where I find it. Oh, the servers are actually here. Williford. Let's go. I should have called it Stash. I should have called the character Stash. Why didn't I do it? Look at me. I thank you for the super chats as well, guys. Appreciate you being here. Jack Stash. <laughs> Stash frags. I like that one. That's good. Hi, Peter. Hello, killers. What's up, Andrew? Hey, Ethan. No, this is not a replay, Ethan. It's live. Game server's still here, apparently. It's taken a long time to load, isn't it? Here we go. Hey, Come your hands. Do you hear me? Damn. Is he infected? Looks clean. But what do we do? He'll die here. No time. Get him to the car. I wonder how many people are playing this on Steam right now. Like your pupils are responding and your hearing is intact. How are you feeling? When we found you, you had lost a lot of blood. I don't usually believe in miracles, so I assume that your quick recovery is the result of incredible fortitude. Oh, by the way, welcome. 131. To I think this is the first time we've ever seen you here. So, you're probably not from around these parts. But don't worry, make yourself at home. So, can you get up? Try to get off the bed. Yeah, that one sounds like a, a real voice actor. The ones on the menu didn't.
Talk to Dr. Leonard. I just was. Great. I'm really glad to see you recovering so quickly. We've saved people from the outside before, but we practically pulled you back from the brink of death. My name is Leonard, Woodbury's doctor. And you are? My name is Joanna. All right. Your speech organs seem fine. Your speech nice. organs? Well, I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but our leader Chris will fill you in on everything better than I can. So, if you're feeling okay already, you can grab your bag and go take speech a Speech organs! Don't worry. Everyone in Woodbury already knows we have a newcomer. Ah! Uh, I just... <laughs> I can't believe that's a real line. What happened to me? Oh man. Not far from Speech organs? Unconscious. Your car was nearby, overturned. I was in a car crash. It looked like you'd been fighting with a large group of infected. It's a good thing we found you in time. Well, anything else? I'm sure Chris will tell you more than I can. Oh, Chris, he looked like the really interesting character from the trailer. After you talk to Chris, you can always find me at the infirmary. Okay, Dr. Leonard, thank you. Goodbye. Don't forget to take your belongings. Yes, sir. By the door. Grab them. Okay, this inventory system. Can I just, like, take all? And drag it. You can't drop items during this task. It wants me to take that one specifically. Take all items. Like sardines or something? Canned food? Oh, canned tuna. That looks like sardines. And if you need medical supplies, you'll be able to buy them from me when I return to the... Thank you, doctor. I've got thirst. I drink that. Drink. You must have been thirsty. If you go Eat food and drink water to keep your energy and thirst levels up. If one of them drops to zero, your health will start to decrease slowly. Okay. Did you need a cutscene for opening the door? Oh, it's gone into a cutscene. Woodbury, welcome to the Woodbury Survival Colony, the only remaining shelter in New Fortune City. So is this a social hub then? There's Chris. Guns and ammo. Buy weapons, ammo, and equipment from Edard or sell to him. Oh yeah, he was in the trailer as well. Storage. Keep your belongings safe in Abby's storage room. Items that are stored can't be lost. Food and drinks from the bartender. Got it. Buy medications from Dr. Leonard. This game had an alt F4 meta, the gym. To increase your stamina. You could do that in Tarkov, can't you? I, I did get access to Tarkov Arena, by the way. I'll probably do a video on that tomorrow. I don't know if you guys have seen Tarkov Arena, but it actually looks pretty good. Reputation. Complete task to earn money. All right, so I just roam around and just go speak to everyone. Alter sprint. Survival colony. I guess that's to do some weapon mods and stuff. Stories room. Off on another run, huh? That's Abby. Have a great day. Have a great day. Inform Chris that you have regained consciousness. What's new? Hey, hello. Yeah, shouldn't there be like other players running around here? Because in the trailer they had that, didn't they? <laughs> this is Chris. 
Hi, Chris. Not only of wood. Hello. You Hello. You're the survivor we rescued a couple of days ago, aren't you? Yes. We were all praying for your speedy recovery. It's good to see you're okay. Oh, thank you. Who are you? My name is Chris, and I'm in charge of this shelter called Woodbury. Hi, Chris. Here, we have gathered all the remaining survivors from New Fortune City and the surrounding suburbs. In Woodbury, we all work together towards rebuilding our society, and any help would be greatly appreciated. Each of us would like to live in a better world. A world where our children can play freely on the streets. You got any stashes? We live every day in uncertainty and fear of death. This dream is what unites all of us. Get to know the members of our close-knit team to see how everything is organized here. Talk to the weapons trader, Edit. The storage keeper, Abby. The bartender, Ron. And Dr. Leonard. You guys think this is After AI generated? Talking, come back Let me, to me. Say in yes in the chat if you think it is or no if you don't think it is. Eddard. First of his name. Whoa. Hi there. Hi there. How you doing? I mean, like, <laughs> everyone said yes. <laughs> What's up, Eddard? How you doing? Good day, sir. Nice to meet you. Buddy. I see you finally recovered. Let me introduce myself. I'm Eddard, the weapons trader. It was my guys who found you almost dead out there. We don't leave people in distress here in Woodbury. Quite the opposite, actually. Here, I've got some. Give me a gun. You. Give me a gun. Yo, the Moloch Hunter. The power of a weapon depends on its class, tier, attachments, and ammunition type. When the weapon's durability is fully depleted, it becomes unusable. So it needs to be repaired in time at the weapon's trader. Got it. So you've got durability on your guns. This is the it, does, it does look a bit John it's Candy, doesn't it, Tilbo? Just needs to be assembled at the workbench. Once you assemble it, you can have it for yourself. It's a gift. With it, you'll have a better chance of making it back home on your own two feet. Rather than on a stretcher like last time. Nice. You need to thank me. The important thing is that you're alive. The rest. John Goodman. Matter. Well, I wish you luck. From that movie, you. the road you trip movie. Top-notch weapons and ammunition. What's it called? If you want to sell anything you don't need, feel free to come to me. Trade. It seems you're still not on the list of residents. Before I can trade with you, you'll need to complete registration with Chris. Big Lebowski. That's Don't it. Don't worry, buddy. It's got the dude process. in it as well. See you soon. Okay. Goodbye. See you, buddy. You think it looks like Saul I Goodman? You, I don't think it looks like Saul Goodman. Assemble a weapon at the workbench. So apparently like a lot of the assets in this game are bought on stores as well like a lot of people are calling it an asset flip game you know i'm just glad the people that made those assets got paid for it in the open world you'll come across workbenches that are indispensable if you need to install attachments on your weapon okay so that's my Molot. And guard. Receiver. Dust cover. That's cool. Great. Can't do anything in the magazine yet. Talk to Abby. Oh, Tomo liked Abby a lot. That's what he told me. He said she was his favorite. Run, huh? Hello, Abby. Day. Hey there. You're the survivor everyone's been talking about lately, right? That's me. Glad to see you're okay. I'm Abby, the storage room keeper. It's the safest place in Woodbury, so people use it to store their personal belongings. I can see your backpack is pretty full. Leave the things you don't need right now with me. It'll make it easier for you to move around. Don't worry. They'll be perfectly safe here. 
Take a look at my storage. The storage room is at your service. What is it? A medium first aid kit? Wouldn't I want that though? I want the beans. Come on, I'm British. I need... I need baked beans. Baked beans on toast with cheese on top. I'm just like... Yeah, man. <sighs> Great. That's the way to go. I have it. Storage. If you suffer a fatal injury in the open world, you will lose all the items in your backpack to prevent losing valuable items. Save them in the storage. You can also place items in your protective case. So that's a gamma case then. What? I was just talking to her. Hey, how's it going? What you... Give me some... Give me some advice. Remember, in the world outside, you'll find many interesting and useful things. But the space in your backpack is limited. If it's full, you'll also get tired more quickly. It's also important to understand that you could lose all your belongings in an unfortunate incident. That's why I recommend storing your hard-earned items in our storage room more often. It will give you some peace of mind and make it easier for you to move around the world. And I'll keep an eye on your things. Well, that's about it. Good luck. Thanks, Abby. Um, can I just get those things back that I put in there? Like, please talk to Chris first. Ugh. Please talk to Chris first. I literally just. Only red I literally just did that. Yourself. What? What? <laughs> what? The? Why does it say talk to Abby? That's not Abby. That's Doctor Leonard. Chris wants you to register as a resident of Woodbury. That's great. We always welcome new members to our community. Just yesterday, we weren't sure if you would be okay. Well, in that case, I need to give you this. GPS. All points of interest and evacuation routes on a map of New Fortune State. You can use it to see and accept the community tasks. Okay. It's a GPS map of New That's where I get my missions. And its surrounding area. It marks all the evacuation points through which you can safely return to Woodbury. Keep an eye on the map. The closer you are to an evacuation point, the safer it will be. According to the rules, I need to wait for confirmation from Chris that you're a registered resident. Once you're done with that, feel free to drop by if you need any medication. All right then. See you later. You are not Abby. Take care of your health. I just spoke to Abby. Come for medication anytime. <laughs> it's just glitched, isn't it? Fair Aspera, Pat, take care of your health. It just says talk to Abby. Sam's ruined my feet. How's it going? It's going good, man. How are you? I had the chance. My wife says the garden's growing better than ever, eh? Wait, it might actually be Abby. The storage is always available. Is it actually Abby now? I wish there was a mini map here so I could figure out how to get around. Also, why does this area have stamina? It's not Abby, guys. It's the bartender. Five years ago, I won seven thousand dollars in the lottery. Good for you, man. Hey, look who's awake. Welcome to Woodbury, pal. Hey, you're Glad finally awake. Finally see you alive. I'm Rob. Here's my bar. So, how are you doing? Enjoying your time here, huh? Actually, Chris warned me that he'd be sending you my way to get to know each other. So, I've prepared a little gift for you. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Everyone's just called Abby now, yeah. I kept this first aid kit for myself, but uh, I haven't been out in a while. And I like you, so take it. That is an impressive stash, isn't today. it? So, did Chris get you registered already? When you're done, swing by here. I always have good food, drinks, and supplies in case you're heading out. We'll catch up again, pal. Okay, buddy, pal. Have a great day. When do I get to play the game? That's the, um... The Perka Cola from... Zombies. What's that doing there? Can I play the drums? Why can't I want to open that door? That looks like a cat. Hello. Again. Gotta go speak to Abby. There's a lot of... You know what? 
There's a, there's a lot of people called Abby here. You don't have to worry. This guy used to be called Chris. Now he's called Abby. Great. I see you've met everyone. So, what do you think of Woodbury at first glance? It, I think it's great, Chris. It's good to hear that. It took a lot of effort to make Woodbury what it is. I hope our community lives up to your expectations. I'm confident that you'll find something to keep you occupied here. I'm ready to tell you more whenever you want. So, now I'll inform the team that you're a registered resident. Hi, Chris. And from this moment on, all the services provided by Woodbury will be at your disposal. If you want to have your own home, cars, and storage, we are currently working on setting up a small, safe settlement outside of Woodbury. Got it. Every one of our residents can move. So that's like the thing they had in the trailer, you right? Where you could build your own base. Land right now. Yo. You know what? Let me have our guys take you to the settlement. Just head to the exit, and they'll meet you there. And if you have any questions about the land plot, you can ask me anytime. Sure thing, Chris. But I won't keep you any longer. Good luck. I can rely on you, man. Goodbye. Feel free to reach out. There's so much passion from Chris. So much passion. Abby! 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 Bye, Abby! Bye, Abby! Right, land plot. Base building, like in the trailer. Let's go, baby. That looks exactly like The Last of Us font. I'm going to hide my stash here. So this isn't even a shared instance, this base. It's just like a, a separate thing that only I can go to. Talk to Abby. Abby isn't here? Uh, guys? Uh, what do I do? Abby isn't, there's no, there's no house. Uh, Abby! Abby, are you down there, Abby? I don't think she's there, guys. Go to houses. Camp tent. Press R to open catalog. Place the camp cot. Base building, guys. Let's go. Can I, like, rotate it? Oh, yeah, a little bit. Put it in that corner there. Bosh. Every task is talk to Abby. She must be so sick of me by now. Got a little bedside table. Ooh. Look at that. A radio? Nice. Talk to Abby. Oil lamp. Uh, where do I want the oil lamp? On there, maybe. <sighs> Talk to Abby. What do you want me to do, game? <laughs> what do you want me to do? I can't talk to Abby. I can't talk to her. There's no more tooltips. Country cottage is two milli. <whistles> Under the bed. What do I do? I just leave. Garage. Yo, I got. Ga oh, these are the cars they had in the trailer. These are the cars. Not enough wood coins, man. I could, I could get in that car, and then like drive it around and. Wait, can I swim? There's got to be an invisible wall here, right? Oh, this is nice. 
Look at this. Imagine the mud physics like in the trailer, bro. Dive off. Let's go, baby. See that mountain over there? <laughs> you could go there. Uh... Oh, thunder. All right, there's the invisible wall. There it is. Okay. All right, go and talk to our bee. <laughs> Look how deep it is. <laughs> the whole thing is that deep. Yeah, it's an ankle lake, yeah. God. The amazing disappearing mountain, everyone. I will come back here and make a base. Mount Chiliad from GTA. Yeah, maybe. I don't know why they've got stamina in these little instance areas. What's the point of that? The day before. Incredible. The servers are still up, Fresley, yeah. It's my first chance playing this. It's as good as everyone said. Beautiful animation. Abby! Oh, it's actually Abby! This might fix it. This actually might fix it. Woodbury is a beacon of civilization in the... You're back. Let's go, Abby. Let's it's go, great baby. Chris managed to call you here before you head into the city. And I saw I can't wait. Just like, just like in the trailers. You just recovered from an injury. It's gonna be I great. Let you go out like this. So I've asked Chris to let me give you a little financial aid from Woodbury. Oh, she's gonna hook me up with some Woodbury coins. This is enough money to buy another weapon from Eddard, along with ammunition. And I suggest you put what's left in the storage, just in case. No need to thank me. Thank you, The Abby. best thing you can do for us in return is to work with us to rebuild our community. You've probably already received some tasks from the Woodbury residents on your tablet, so don't forget to check them out. And thanks in advance for your help. Just take care of yourself and come back alive, and the rest doesn't matter, okay? I'll do my best, Abby. That's great. So, do you want to open the storage room? Yeah, I want my stuff back. I want my baked away. beans and my med packs that I put in there, please. Thank you. Put your things in here. 3,000. Wait, can I split it? Wait, what, what, there wouldn't be any point taking it in, though, would there? But wait, isn't it an open-world MMO survival game? I could split these. How do I split them? I can't split that. I can't... So there's just three of those. Three char oh, it's one with three charges. Okay, I get it. How many time? Goodbye. See you again. New beginning complete. Guys, we did our first mission. Now we're going to go into the open world In MMO survival game. We fixed it. Abby's not there anymore. GPS. There's nothing on it. I have to open the map. That doesn't make any sense. Task. What's the task? So what? Do you. What? What's my task? Guys, what's my? What's? What's my task? I think it's I think I think that is a game breaking bug. Oh, here we go. Use it to go on your raid or to your land plot. We'll go we're going on the raid. Hang the stash. Have I got have I got bullets? No, you're right. I need to get some bullets. That's a storage room. How are things going? 
Remember, zombies go down. You know, it'd be great. Headshots. Oh, you got bullet. Okay, I've got bullets. Cool, cool, cool. You need to put anything to the storage. Yeah, I feel like I should have a task. Like going into the open world. I just want to see the zombie hordes, guys, because they looked really good in the trailer. And the interactions with other people. Oh, I did, I did press J multiple times. You have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot as possible and return to Whitmer. That's what happens when I press J. There's literally nothing on the screen. Okay, how do I equip my gun? There we go. Watch. M. J. It's gone. There's nothing there. Ruined. Game breaking bug. So I don't. I don't have a task. Can I? Can I leave? Let's see if we can find some zombies. Pizza. Costa coffee. Can I get me a medium vanilla latte, please? I don't know where, where I'm going, man. Let's have a look. Warehouses. I could try and loot something, right? Bloody hell. A zombie. I had to shoot it three times in the head. Can I loot the zombie? F. Bullets. Okay. Biz and re. So what can I loot? Just anything? I can loot that bag. Apple Watch. Oh, look, guys! There's an alarm, like in the like in the trailer. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, select one, three, two, nine. Uh oh. So if I get it wrong again, it's gonna make a horde, right? Horde coming, guys. Horde's coming, just like in the trailer. Horde of zombies. Any second now. Any second. Any... Ah, oh, they must be... They must be doing something else. The zombies are busy? I think they're busy doing something. Citizen Bank. There's going to be loot in there. Air Raid Siren? I remember there was a trailer with a mall as well. I didn't show that at the start. Is the mall in the game? How do I get in there? Oh, it's a bit further down. New Fortune Citizen Bank. Yeah, okay, that zombie horde was great. Oh! Oh, he's armored. Oh dear. Guys, we found zombies. Guys, zombie horde. Reload. Reload. I'm bleeding. I'm dead. Death.
Return to Woodbury. First mission was a failure. The zombie horde killed me. And all my things are gone. I'm completely naked. I've got nothing left. So what happens when you die? So it is an extraction shooter. So it's not an open world su survival MMO. Heard you're making progress. You have received financial support. Hey, how's it going? It's going fine. You know, Dr. Letterbase. At le I mean, at least I didn't put my money in there, right? I want to see if the missions are fixed. Are they fixed? I literally can't see any tasks. I think it's I broken. Like attitude, buddy. I like your attitude, buddy. My name's Rocket Raccoon. And I'm here to teach you how to play the day before. I'm going to log out. I'm going to go main menu. 60 seconds. Because I, I want I want to see what missions there are. Like, I want to see what you can actually do in the game. Is it really just going to give me a black screen for 60 seconds? Is that really what... <laughs> no. Surely... What the... Continue? Select server. Okay. I join a different server. See if the tasks are fixed. How do I sort my broken arm out as well, chat? I'm sure you've all been playing this non-stop since it released. Right? The tasks are like fine batteries. Yeah, but there's got to be more interesting tasks than that, right? As you progress through the story or whatever. Surely. <laughs> right? No. They're all like that. Are my tasks working? Okay, guys, we got... We got tasks. Let's go. I feel like Chris, he's the kind of guy that I can help. Just as people cannot live without water, the shelter cannot exist without a water supply system. Make sure the water supply at Woodbury is uninterrupted. He wants a plumbing kit, a soldering kit, and a sealant. Where do I find that? Ah, oh, there. Source of life. Okay. I've got a real player! Oh my god. That's a player. That's a real person, I think. Abby. Hey, glad to see you're okay. Shall I open? You the can't even skip that. Um, open storage. It's secure here. I've got three grand, no okay. money. Take care of yourself. Invite to squad. You want to join my squad? You can join my squad as well, right? I don't know who you are. It's uh, Tomb Raider, I think. That's Lara Croft. I need to find the guy that does the guns. Guns and ammo. Abby seems to be okay. Well, soldier, have you registered? Yeah, let's trade. Don't hesitate. Get me a gun. What you like? Ah, oh, oh, baby. I can't sell anything. I don't think I can afford any of this. Wait, I'm such an idiot. I need to go. Until we meet again. I need to get my money. I know what it's like. Why isn't that just hey, on your character you though when you're in this bit? Surely it should just be hey, like man. there, you know, straight away. Don't underestimate the infected. How are you doing? Oh, you can skip it. You just click. For you, there will always be a place in the storage room. The split. Can't type a number in there. Take that. Backpack. Ready. If you need anything else. Goodbye. See you again. 
Yeah, what I'm saying is that even if it's in your stash, when you're here, you should have access to it. That's what I'm saying. Because there's no risk of you losing it in here, is there? Weapons, ammunition. Good. Don't hesitate. Pick what you like. What shall I buy, guys? Oh, look. All the different guns. AK. Looks like a SCAR. Vector. M16, M4, MP5, UMP. Some kind of Benelli shotgun there. A double barrel. What? Why is that saying I don't have enough coins? Is this not... 1500 coins guys Oh is this a different type of currency? I'm, didn't I just put 1500 in there? See you buddy does it just rob me? Sticky. I'm sure I just put 1500 coins in my inventory. Hey. You're welcome. It's, it's robbed me. I split it. <laughs> what? What? It just deleted 1500 coins off me. Come anytime. Oh. Take care of yourself. Want to join my squad? Invite to squad. Come on, Sticky. I don't know who you are, but you can join, whatever. Now, can I. You know what wrong currency. Here? Hey there. Trade. I've got something for you. No, it, well, it's not the wrong currency. It's the same. It's just broken. Wesser Smith 43. That's a grand, isn't it? I'm going to buy that. So, does that... How do I find out what ammo that takes? 12 gauge. I presume it's that. Take 32. 5. What? Oh, that's the cost of it. Okay. I'm going to be firing a lot. Oh, do I have to buy armor? Helmet? It's all too expensive, though. I can't afford anything. Look how expensive this is. Heavy assault body armor. I presume these all have different stats. Protection 2. They've got different weight as well. What's that? Smoke grenade. What's the point of that? Armor piercing. Different ammo types. Can I afford a backpack at least? Yeah. Get the basic one. Cha-ching! Thanks for the purchase. No problem. See you, buddy. Right, now I've got to go... What's this? Did someone just put a load of loot on the floor? You want me to take this? What is it? Oh my god, he just bought that. Okay. Thank you. How do I say thank you? Uh, thanks? Thank you. All right, where's the medic? Workshop. I want attachments. That guy's an absolute baller. All right, time to hustle. Was it stinky? Sticky. Did he put anything else in it? No. No How voice chat. Doing? I don't think there's any voice chat like there was in the trailer. 
There are no emotes either. Take care of your health. Take care of your health, Doctor Lennon. Now you're an official resident of Woodbury. That's what. I need medication from you. Choose what you need. I don't know. See you again. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. See you again. Take Either. care of yourself. No voice chat. But guys, there was voice chat in the trailer. Oh, you want more stuff? Yeah, sure. This sticky guy is gonna hook me up, man. I was... Tomo did say there's some kind of money glitch. And they're not gonna update the game anymore. So I suppose that people are just gonna keep doing the money glitch until... The servers are killed. It's like, like the... They're fantastic. The developers have shut down now. You can't melee. Wait. Isaac, there's no melee in the game. In a zombie survival game. No. Huh? I can't believe you said that. I, d I know it doesn't have vaulting, but guys, it had vaulting in the trailer, didn't it? Remember, we did we did show that earlier on. We did show the vaulting in the trailer. So I'm going to demonstrate vaulting right now. You have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot as possible and return to Woodbury. So I'm just going to vault over this... Low obstacle here, like in the trailer. This one. This one. Wait, are there two zombies there? There are two zombies. Can I dodge? Very loud, isn't it? We loot them. Bullets. Uh, Zalma, thank you for the 10 bucks, man. It's very kind of you. No, these are, these are all zombies. Marcus. These are zombies. Oh, I could use those. Right. Let's have a look at my map. Task. Oh man, it's... That... Nice. Oh, nice. I wish I had a compass. I think I'm going the right way here. Yeah, so I run all the way up here. When was this released? JR, it released on 7th of December, but they took it off Steam within four days. You can't even buy it anymore. Hello, zombie. Yeah, I wasn't here. I was in America when it released. That is so... That is like... Honestly, some of the most unsatisfying gunplay I've ever played in a game. I can't even loot them. Why can I not loot them? Azalma, you got to check out Once Human. Yeah, so... I've seen Once Human, because I know when everything went wrong with this game, a lot of people started playing Once Human saying, you know, this is actually good. But I don't have a key for it, and I think they had to, like, remove the early access or something, because it got too popular.
So I'm trying to get a key for it. How was my trip? Yeah, it was really good, Pat. Thank you. I saw a possum. He tried to steal my cheeseburger spring roll. And I also and I was behind Brendan Fraser in security at the airport. And Brendan Fraser's awesome. So yeah, ten out of ten holiday. Great. Your cheeseburger, cheeseburger spring roll. Those are the warehouses up there. It feels very dead, doesn't it? And the graphics are nothing like those trailers we watched at the start. There's just nothing going on. Can I even loot the cars? I can loot this one. Oh, a pistol. Look at that. I bet that's absolutely useless. How do I equip it? Seven bullets. Looks like a 1911. Do you have supposed RTX on? Everything's on the max graphics, but I don't know... I know it's got frame generation and DLSS. That is so bad. No reaction at all from the zombie. Oh, I'm gonna die. I don't wanna die. And they get me on here. I don't think they can get me, guys. I think I'll be okay. If I just... <laughs> look at this guy. If I just stay here for the entire zombie apocalypse, I'll be fine. That's all you have to do to beat the game. Welcome to the day before. I don't want to kill that guy. He's living his best life. Not anymore. Wait, didn't I kill you? Oh, he actually hit me. Unless someone shot at me then. Did someone shoot me? Maybe someone shot me. Shotguns seem very weak. Yeah, they do. So the water treatment thing should just be around this corner here. I know a lot of people were talking about that noise. There. Apparently, sometimes you hear ambient gunfire. And the theory is that it's not even real players. They just put audio files in the distance to make you think that there's people there. You can lean. Can I go prone? Can't go prone. And crouch. Can't open that door. What's over here? Dude, I don't understand. How is how is that zombie not dead? That's so dumb. Oh my god. Wow. How much was this game when it released? Uh was it full priced? Maybe it was full price. I think I'm bleeding. Oh, 
Right, I need to fix myself. Uh, med kit. Forty dollars. Yeah, like I said, if you bought this, even if you played more than two hours, re request a refund on Steam because I think Valve are giving them away. So I just have to loot around here, I guess. Oh god. Guys, this is a zombie horde. <laughs> Oh no! I'm dead. If only I could make. I can't move, I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck. If only I could melee them. That's it. Ruined. Shotgun gone. Armor gone. Back to Woodbury. I, I couldn't vault. I couldn't push the zombies out of the way. I couldn't get through them. I was just stuck there. No escape mechanic in the game. You can't melee them, Marcus. There is no melee. If you need medication, what's needs? Contact Dr. Leonard. I think I've still got 15. Wait, no. I spent all my money, didn't I? 500 in my backpack. Potatoes, basil, lettuce. Uh, Joe, thank you for the super chat. You want to join my group? Underestimate the infected. You, want, you want to they join me? The Russ? But they definitely see and hear you. You want to join me? You want to join? Want, want to go on, on a mission together? Monolith joined the squad. Russ, uh, Russ declined me. You know what? I actually like trading weapons more than... What can I do for you? Great. Let's get to the main part. Hey, it looks like you're writing a letter. I'm never buying that shotgun ever again. It was absolutely terrible. Nine millimeter. I'm never going to get any of this, am I? Thanks for the purchase. I'm a pauper. I've got nothing. Until we meet again. I know like. Alright, back in we go. I've got to... Come, wait, come to the gym to work out? The storage is always available. Yeah, where's the gym? I remember seeing that in the trailer. Wait, where's the spa? Guys. Gym. Spa. Hello. Hello. Yo, the gym! Can I melee that guy? Huh. What the hell? RTX on. Wait. It's got frame gen and reflex. Image scaling. I don't think there's any... There's reflection quality. As you can see, guys. The quality of the reflection in this game... Some of the best I've seen... I'll awake too. Forget that. The day before. Right, now how do I work out? Does it increase my stats? Oh, here we go. Not enough wood coins. You need to spend coins to use the exercise bike. What? Why do you need to spend... I 
as everything outside. Yeah, it's great out there, man. Can I use the sauna? You know, this game was actually at one point most anticipated on Steam, the wishlist. That first trailer was incredible. What do I do? Pleasant hot water in the sauna and refreshing warm steam floating in the air contribute to reciprocate recuperate and complete relaxation of the body and soul. Does this have any gameplay implications? Is that it? Things are looking up for us, aren't they? No. Can I do anything with the poke machine? Friend chance to turtle doves and a content ID on your YouTube. And I don't know if that song is DMCA. I'm making great progress, um, Abby. Hi. Hi. You literally just. I'm going crazy, man. Thanks, whoever left that. I appreciate it. Is there still a mall? I don't know, Kingslayer. Does it? That's not the right way. Does anyone know? Is there a mall that I can go to? Because there was a trailer with a mall. The pandemic wasn't real. I'm going to see if I can find the mall. I'm going to see if I can find that mall. Can I find that mall? Can I find that mall? Ready. I've got I've got my boy with me here. I don't know who it is. No more. Right bottom side of outskirts. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is optional. Oh. Ah. Nice. You have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot as possible and return to Woodbury. So yeah, it's an extraction game, isn't it? It is an extraction game. There's the guy that joined my squad. Hello, friend. There's a hotel, police department, capital bank, Celestia Bank, Downtown Oasis. I don't see a mall, guys. I'm just gonna follow this dude and see what happens. Like, looks like he, this guy knows what he's doing, right? North Park, Matt, are you being serious? Wait, that's why can I not loot that? Go up. Oh. Oh, okay. The map's bigger than I thought. Stadium, motel. Hmm. Super mall. There is a mall. I need to go up that way anyway, don't I? Right. You go do your thing, man. You go do your thing. Empty. <laughs> not very fun, is it, guys? It's not a very fun game. First impressions are very bad.
I mean, it's got a dog in it. It's just nothing. It's just so empty. We'll go to that park over there. Nobody has a car. I mean, you can buy cars, but they were like 1.6 million and 2 million. So I doubt that anyone's actually managed to get a car yet. I'll loot this here. What can I loot? It's it's quite hard to discern what you can and can't loot. Oh, got some DDR memory there. It's a computer store. Is that the only thing I can loot? Oh, I can loot the fridge. Crisps. Nice. New message, Leonard. There's like one thing in there that you can loot. Oh no, not zombies. Hold on, let me just vault in this car. You have to find like the exact spot as well sometimes. Try and get to that more without dying. Rudy, I've been I've been away in America for like 17 days. I haven't had a chance to play anything new, like 2042, for example. I know they've just announced season seven. Oh, this is the bit in the trailer we watched, isn't it? Where the that thing that thing breaks through. But apparently, this isn't even in the game. But in the trailer, it made out like there was someone driving it. Can I not go through there? Can't loot that. See, that looks like you you could loot it, doesn't it? I guess I have to follow the path. Hey, I'm walking here. There's a zombie there. If I creep, do they not hear me? Because it did appear there was a stealth mechanic in the trailer. I don't know what type of zombies they are. Also, I've never loaded into a map yet where it was nighttime. How did you? That doesn't make any sense. I can loot that. It was night time before, was it? Literally can't remember that. It didn't look like night time. Oh, there's a lot of zombies here. Like, do you think that do you think that gunfire is real? Oh, crap. What the? I just, I just saw them spawn right before my very eyes. It seems like this is better than the shotgun. Now we're safe. Oh, he hit me. Ow! You're not allowed to do that.
Okay, everything's fine. Look, that sounds like it's right around the corner. Is that real? I'm gonna go see if that's real. I'm sorry you have to play this. I don't have to play it, Valka. I want to. Well, you think they'll be friends with me? I put my gun away? Uh... Should I do the friendly wiggle? Friendly wiggle. Is that Ronald McDonald? Friendly. It worked. Oh. You wanna give me that? Why is Ronald McDonald here? Thank you. Oh, yo, we got the cheeseburger. Need it in a spring roll, though. An appetizing burger that has somehow preserved its freshness to this day. Thanks, man. Eat. Hmm. Look, it's tiny. That's a slider. That's not a burger. Thank you. What else you got for me? What else you got? Crisps. Uh, Vexen, thank you for the 10 memberships. Come more. Okay. Okay, let's go. I think this guy wants to show me the more. You're gonna have to kill the zombies though, because I'm completely useless. Also, I've just realized, this is Joel, isn't it? This is literally Joel from The Last of Us. I'm being honest, this game, at first glance, does not look that bad. It's just this very unsatisfying. There's nothing really going on. The gunplay is terrible. The ragdolls, none of the features, or barely any of the features that were in the trailers are actually in the game. It's not an open world survival game like they said it was. It's an extraction shooter by the looks of it. Characters are terrible, dialogue's terrible. Gameplay loop's really boring. I don't know what happened. We'll, we'll talk about it at the end, because... I'm interested to know if there are any game devs that would have some insight on it. That's an M4 and he's hit that zombie like eight times. Okay, we're just leaving that. Okay, let's just leave that. I think it was bugged. feel bad for the dude that made the map but yeah isn't there some rumor that the whole map is an asset as well or like most of it and then they tweaked and changed a few bits i'm gonna need some help with this Web, you can't even buy the game anymore. You literally can't buy it. Am I... No, I'm not bleeding. Okay. Uh, Dead Meat, thank you for the 42 months. Is it co-op? Can you see other... Yeah, this is a real player. It is co-op. I, really I don't know how many players per server, though, it was, or what they intended it to be. Yeah, that sounds fake, that gunfire. Dude, I... Map is asset on Unreal Engine. Marketplace. Oh, damn. Oh, this guy knows a lot. He must be watching the stream. A 
I've got one bullet left. Edward, I'm not going to do the money glitch because I... I'm, I'm like, what's the point, right? Like, I'm only going to play this for like another hour or so. So what's... I just wanted to see for myself what it was like. To get a car. Oh, now you're talking. You're gonna have to kill these zombies, mate. I can't. I've got one bullet and no stamina. Please. Help. Help. Yeah, that's just the same WAV file over and over again. Abby just sent me a message in my DMs. I'm stuck in a tree. Can you kill them? Kill them? I, I don't have any ammo, dude. Could a TA studio pick this up and make something decent? There's actually a guy who's attempting to remake this game that I saw on Twitter. And I think he's going to do it. Go to the gym for stamina. I can't. <laughs> I can't afford to. I literally have to pay money to go. Maybe this guy doesn't have any ammo. I like how I've entrusted him with everything that I have. That's all I got. Oh yeah, I missed the new PUBG map as well. Is that guy dead? Is he dead? Are you still alive? I think he might be dead. Wait, if I jump over this, can the zombie get me? Oh! No! No! Leave me alone. He might actually be dead. So I think that's them all there. Yeah, there are many zombies though, and I don't have any bullets. I'm gonna eat this packet of crisps. I thought that dude had like an M4 and a load of gear. He seems okay, right? Am I going to get across to the other side though? There's three zombies there. I could run over there, but if I go over there, I'm going to get aggro from him. I don't think there's any other way, is there? I mean, at least that guy helped me to get over here. No. No. Naughty zombie. Don't jump in the middle. What, do you just die if you go in the middle? Surely the zombie can't <laughs> navigate this. I think the AI is too smooth. If you get stuck between those walls, you just get stuck there forever. Okay, thank you. Now we know, don't go there. Mmm, zombies. 
This is zombie avoidance protocol 101 right here. That's fine. Okay, this way. Am I dead if I jump down here? Oh, the stutter. Uh oh. <gasps> the mall! No! Oh my god. First aid. I'm gonna play once human if I get a key. <gasps> the mall is real! Guys, we made it to the mall. Apparently it's just on the Unreal Engine marketplace, but we made it. Welcome to the Ocean Mall. There was an announcement going off. Jump on the fountain. All the wait, all the escalators are blocked. How do I get to the... Wait. The top level's just blocked off. Abdominal weird. Guys, I don't think I'm going to make it. Yeah, I remember seeing it as well, Bassmaster. Yeah, I don't think you can... I think in the trailer as well, they were actually on the second level. Some weird lighting in here. You can get to the third floor. How'd you get to the third floor? Is there like an, an elevator or something? Cheng, you missed a little bit. I mean, I feel like I've got the gist of the game now. Have you seen Daisy's? The day after bundle. Yeah, they um they made a joke of it, didn't they? Robin Sparkles. I don't know who that is. Tactics? My zombie fighting tactics. Okay, so you the all you gotta do is jump on something. It's that simple. I feel like you had the gist of the game two minutes in. Hey, take care. <laughs> How long do you think the servers will be up until the devs abandon ship? I don't know. I think the servers will be up until they, you know, maybe. Well, the game released on the 7th of December. Let's say they had the servers paid for for a month. They just do months in advance. Maybe first week in January or go offline. Cheng, quick question for anyone that actually bought the game and played it past two hours. Did Steam give you a refund still? Cheng, yeah, so apparently they are still giving refunds on it. I don't know if they'll give it to everyone. But maybe. I think, you know, with this game, I think Valve might make an exception. So, it's an, it's an extraction game then. Not a very good one at that. Um... We're just going to go back to what we watched at the start of the stream. Because I think this is, you know. This is important. Um, where is it? Here. Look at this. Welcome to the So this is the first trailer for the game. This is what they... Was it 2021? Welcome to the short gameplay demonstration trailer for The Day Before, an upcoming open world multiplayer survival game. The Day Before features a huge, stunningly detailed post-apocalyptic world destroyed by a terrible virus. Running out of fuel. Great, man. Awesome. Looks like a different game. Looks like a completely different experience. Here, I guess. Shall we split up? Yep. Voice chat. I'll find out what's in the skyscraper. 
Okay, and I'll look around here. Looks like the division, doesn't it? Let's see what we have here. All right, all right, all right. I have found a great cowboy. The amount of stuff everywhere, Killer the geometry, all right. the lighting effects, there reflections. In the valley. Easy, cowboy. Listen up. This is Woodbury Survivor Colony speaking. If you can hear this message, it means that we have opened our doors for new survivors. We can give you food and shelter. This is the question that I was going to ask as well. I mean, I doubt there's any game devs watching, but when game companies do... I mean, I think the major publishers don't really do this anymore. Like, back in the day, there was definitely a period where some publishers made fake gameplay trailers. Or, you know, they have like a, a completely scripted version of their game, right? So, with this, for example, is this... A scripted thing that they've made in Unreal Engine 4 and just ramped everything up to 11 like the physics the lighting and then they just do all the keyframes and animations and then click play and record it and pretend it's in game or is this a very amped up slice of their game where there's only these areas and they can afford to Turn everything up to 11, like I just mentioned, so it runs well, they can record it, the physics. How would, the, like, how would they do this? Is it all pre-rendered in engine, or is it a version of the game that used to exist, just a very small slice of it? But surely, to pre-render all this would be such a massive effort, and it would cost a lot of money to make this. A guy who worked as a volunteer for them said it was all scripted. Okay, yeah, I get that it's scripted because it's a cinematic video, right? To announce the game. But is it scripted in the sense of th there was someone playing this and then there was specific triggers? Or is it scripted as in it's all pre-rendered with keyframes and animations that they just press play on in the engine and record it? it, it really, It's really interesting to me. Also, that crafting mechanic isn't in the game. Like, what I just played, that isn't in the game. I don't think you can craft things on the go like that. Is someone, like, bashing me in the game? Sticky, have you just given me a load of stuff? Oh my god, look at this. Armor. M4. This guy is hooking me up. Oh, baby. Friend. And then, yeah, sorry. I was, I was going to show you... Um, like, this whole... The mud deformation. Surely, this... Is, is this just an asset you can get in Unreal Engine where the tires interact with the mud? There's a game that I've played that's very good called Snow Runners or Mud Runners that's got this kind of tech in it, but that's all you do in the game. It's a driving game where you haul and do missions and go out in the wild like this. But look at like... Look at that. It's got real-time reflections as well on the car. Is it Mud Runners? Spin tires? Something like that. But you can really see it the next bit. Like here. The mud is there. I'm, I mean, my graphics are on maximum. I haven't seen any destruction either, but then again, I haven't driven a car.
I didn't see the birds flying either. When the guy fires the shot. Or this. So, in this one here, the guy rolls out a sleeping bag. So that kind of insinuates that it's open world survival. Before you log off, maybe you make a bed, you put a sleeping bag down, you can sleep in it, you log in again, that's where you spawn. But that is, isn't in the game as far as I can tell. Anyway, let's see what this guy has dropped off for me. So he's given me armor, a helmet, an M4. I think I already had the money on me. Uh, Gene, thank you. Yo, SnowRunner has a new game coming out, does it? Yeah, look, just, just going from the trailer to like what the actual game is like. <laughs> I think it's quite funny. Find alphabet. What's alphabet? Okay, that's in a different location. We'll go there. He did kill Ronald McDonald for the burger. That's been the highlight so far. Uh, where's this guy gone? Is he still around? He's over here. Do you want to? Do you want to team up again? Sharpest. Is that the but same player? Might be. Invite. No. 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 Invite to squad. There we go. Sticky. You want to go again? We'll go again. Deal. Seems like time literally heals in the case of Sons and Pat. Ready? Yeah? You love this game, don't you, Sticky? It's the best game. Let's go. I've got to go find Alphabet. Let's go find Alphabet. Ready. Teamwork make a dream work. I'm not going to headshot Sticky, Peter. This guy seems like a, a good dude. He does have burgers, yeah. He's got all the cheeseburgers that I need. There isn't voiceover IP Ember. No. Soup? It could be alphabet soup, yeah. You have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable loot as possible and return to Woodbury. Come on, Sticky. Load in. I'm right next to it. Okay, we have to go find Alphabet Sticky. Whatever that means. Thank you for the gear. I don't have any meds, by the way, so... There's that. I'd like to do some PvP. But what are the chances of that? Very low. Um... Why is the same poster there twice? Looks like Dolly the sheep, the one that they cloned. You think they'll be able to clone humans someday? Maybe they can already do that. Oh, I'm just got stuck on a tiny box. So, do I just loot random things here? I mean, I'm here. I'd, uh, I don't understand. Do they just spawn randomly? We can clone humans now. It's just illegal. Surely there must be someone out there that would let them clone them. Oh, I'd let somebody clone me. You gotta find the items. So they're just, like, in this area. But it doesn't make sense, like, what... 
Also, I've looted this this same store. Can I rotate that? Three times, I think. You can find in cars also. Okay. So just look around cars. NFPD. Just find the items within the yellow zone. All right, yeah. So we just got a loot, I guess. I don't think there are any house interiors, Dennis. Doesn't look like it. I'm doing good, Fabian. Thank you. Yeah. Back of nails. Can I loot this? Yeah. A jacket. I think the best thing, like, they could have done with this game was, you know, just cancel it and never release it. Because they knew what state it was in, obviously. Or just say, look, we need a lot more funding. We need a lot more dev time. We're going to delay it a couple years and maybe we can deliver on the vision that was in the trailer. Oh, Garand. Nice. Thank you. It just doesn't make sense to do what they did at all. Because they know that people can refund. Is that something that I need? Set of markers, calculator, alphabet. I just don't understand the decision making process. Like, what did they think was going to happen? God, there's even spread there. The bullets aren't, like, they're not doing enough damage either. They don't feel lethal, the guns. Uh, sweet. Thank you for the five gifted. What bullets does that take? 762. I could actually load a couple shots in that garand then. Is it still available? No, it's not Skyler. That's one of the only reasons that I felt comfortable playing it because you can't even buy this anymore. And I said at the start, look, if you can get a refund, get a refund. I just really wanted to play it because I think it's so interesting, like the whole story behind it and what happened. And I was away when it launched. I think if I was here on day one, I would have done the same thing. I would have live streamed it. But apparently there was some server issues too, so... Is that the thing that I looted earlier? Yeah. Like, it just seems like a bunch of random fetch quests as well. But the gameplay loop is completely unsatisfying and unfun. Go over here. I don't think I've been over here yet. Yeah, I want someone to like, you know, Noclip who made the documentaries about video games. I want them to make a documentary about what happened with this game. I think it would be so interesting. A thimble. It's, it is still online, Arak. Yeah, obviously I'm playing it.
This is the first lie you've ever got to see. Thank you, Brent. Butter knife. I'm finding everything but the stuff that I need. This looks promising. Rag. That's not promising at all. It's like, is this the same store I went in? I think, it, I think it's a different one. Laptop adapter. Uh, I can't even check that. Like, why is it locked? Hey, okay. I need that. Uh, I don't have any room though, do I? I need a backpack. Is that marked off? Set of markers. Thank you, Lucas. They're called Talanol, yeah, instead of Tylenol. A calculator and an alphabet. Guys, I have to find the entire alphabet. Sticky, where is the alphabet? Do you know? Have you got the alphabet? Obviously not. Can you put your coins in your case on inventory? You know, I completely forgot that I have a case. I'm such an idiot. I mean, it didn't exactly point that out very well, though. Red X. See what the Red X has got. Comic book. Did he find it? He may have found one there. Oh, I've already got that. Thank you, though. Something here as well. A lighter. No. I need to find Alphabet. Where is Alphabet? Alphabet! The bullets, they just look like they do no damage. Can I find the quest items on these guys? Sesame Street, ask Big Bird. I don't think Big Bird's here, Tilbo. Did you see your shadow? No, what happened? God, this is so dumb. Yo, screw this. Let's see if we can find some players. Because, like, this is so boring. This must be so boring to watch. Oh, he's found some. Are there even players? In here? Clock go. I don't need that. Horse figurine. That reminds me of Resident Evil. You'll never see many players. No, but I have. I mean, this guy's real.
See, it sounds like he's dropping something there, but he isn't. I kind of wish that the division had expanded on the dark zone. Be here all day. Searching cars. What a really fun gameplay mechanic. Yeah, the alarms are really annoying as well. There's just alarms everywhere. Copper spoon. All right, I'm sick of this. Where can we go? What did you get, Sticky? Newsboy cap. No. No, but thank you. Scrap. You played it for an hour helping a player that killed you in game. Oh no. Is there like a PvP zone or something? Somewhere you can go where you know you'll fight, fight players or something like that. Look at the shadows. Oh my god. Wow. You are in there. Yeah, I know, but what I mean is, you know, like school in PUBG was the PvP zone. Even though the whole game is PvP. If you want to scrap, you go to school. He's sticky human. Yeah, I think so. Welcome, toppings. Fresh, tasty. Yeah, I think there's definitely a desire from the survival fans for a game like they showed in the trailer. Kind of like Daisy on steroids, but... You know, what they've delivered it here is just shocking, really. Compared to what they promised in the trailers. Giant balls. Wait, have these got reflections? Reflections on refractions on reflections. I can't even jump over that. Look, you just can't... You can, literally can't step up that. that. That's what I mean, Dark Strider. That's what I was talking about. Like, those trailers were very well scripted and choreographed and... They looked like a next-gen game. So they've obviously got people that work there that know how to make something that looks good. Whether it was completely pre-rendered in engine or just a vertical slice of the game. Who knows, man? That's why I'm saying a, a documentary on this would be incredible. If, if someone could find out what really happened. I go to that hotel. I just hope that anyone that bought it got their money back. I might own the publisher tweeted saying that they were going to give people refunds. But had they honored it, I don't know. to go this way yeah I'm trying to get a key for once human Thor
There was a Reddit thread that listed every single asset they used, really. Key. Spaceman 3. Oh, 33. Vincent Jones. Glenn Stone. Matthew Barkley. Uh, the scale is completely wrong as well, right? Like, look at the size of this truck. Compared to me. <laughs> you can't really go into any of the buildings either. I don't know. I feel like it would take a AAA developer. Someone like, uh, you know, Naughty Dog, Ubisoft, Activision, EA. That kind of caliber. That kind of money. 10 years, maybe, or f maybe that's a bit too, maybe like five years to make, you know, the, the vision that they had originally for this. I just want that guy on Twitter to make it and just do it by himself. <laughs> maybe Rockstar could do it. Oh, dude, you know what? I'm... It, did you guys see the announcement about The Last of Us? So The Last of Us was set to bring out a survival game. And Naughty Dog announced about a week ago that they'd cancelled it. And, you know, the, the reasons they said were that they felt... I mean, I'm paraphrasing, but from my understanding of was that they, they couldn't commit enough resources to maintaining it as a live service game after it released and they would rather focus on making single player experiences they can put all their focus and energy on that which is fair enough you know that's their decision but i'll tell you what i would have loved to have played that game a naughty dog multiplayer survival game man Just, just to try it, you know? Just to have seen what their vision was for it. Maybe that'll leak someday. You know what this feels like? You know when Unreal Engine 5 was announced? And everyone started making mods for it straight away. Like, they, they had that city that was the Matrix. And it had an amazing tech demo with the Matrix characters. And then, every, and then they released it and people could start making stuff. And people made like Superman mod or Spider-Man mod. But it was just in the city. And there's nothing to do. That's what this game feels like. It just feels like I'm running around not doing anything. Apple pies. Can I go in the police station? Is there anything to loot in here? Fresh juice soda. Tea. I can loot the fridge. Is there going to be some milk? Canned food. Yeah, I've played the Avatar game, Thor. I put out a video on it. But, but again, that release when I was on holiday. So I had to play it and record it on my gaming laptop in a hotel room on a weird microphone. But um, yeah, the, the graphics on that game are just like, I don't, I feel like I, I want to play it in 8K or something. Now I'm home. You literally get some rags in a safe in the police station. XC50, that's WD-40. I hope that's the guy that was with me, Sticky. Cleaner for heat exchangers. So this is probably all part of a mission, isn't it? Oh, look. Weapon parts. Wow, incredible. Sticky. Let's go, Sticky. 
And you just can't loot that, even though it looks the same as the other things. PC hard drive. <gasps> Money. Alright, I'm just going to go and extract just to see what that looks like. That's an extraction up there, I think. It looks like the extractions from DMZ. <laughs> I swear that's the same. I swear that's the same icon as DMZ. Alright, sticky. We're going to go extract, mate. Let's go. Not after I search this purse. Nothing. What do you got, Sticky? Oh my god. A real gun. Thank you. Just found it in there. It's like a weapon box or something. Or that there. Absolute Chad, isn't he, Gabby? Uh, how do we get down, Sticky? This way, yeah. Imagine the entire alphabet in that purse. Recon effects, if only. Takes so long to get your map out as well. It's not really any different at all from the other zombies. Uh, Genie, thank you for the 100. We need more BF5 vids. Of course, man. Love playing BF5. It's the right way, Sticky. Yeah, so we just run north. It's just a fetch quest simulator, isn't it? That's all it is. Asset flip fetch quest simulator. I don't know what, like, uh, just crazy. It's as if they thought, like, no one would talk about it or, or show people what it was really like. I don't get it. Just don't understand the thought process. No, they've canned it already, Drake. They've ceased development for it after four days. I mean, I remember, like, when when I saw that first trailer and the second one with the mud deformation and everything, I was like, yeah, this looks really good. I wanted to play that game that they advertised. Uh, yeah, I got access to it. In a, I'm going to do a video on it tomorrow on Tarkov Arena. So this week is going to be... Um, ready or not. So they've just done their 1.0 update and there's a lot of like new stuff in that. Ready or not, Tarkov Arena. I might play Lego Fortnite as well because that looks kind of fun. I missed all that because I was away. Um, I'll do a Battlefield 2042 video because there's some new Christmas modes. I haven't even played the new Warzone map. Like, that released on the 6th. I was, I was in America. I haven't played Warzone at all. The new version. Hunt Showdown got a big update. Yeah, that's a good point, fam. There's a... I think there's a Christmas game mode for Warzone as well, right? With Krampus 2.0 or Santa, Evil Santa or something. There's a new PUBG map, Rondo. I want to play that. That looks kind of fun. Yeah, I miss so much being away. But, you know, like, holiday's a holiday, isn't it? You book it well in advance and you go and have fun. Can I get through here? 
No. Did you eat any in and out? No. Tukan, I haven't been paid anything to play this, buddy. Not a sponsored stream. If it was a sponsored stream, it would say. You can't even buy this game anymore, by the way, Tukan, so. Yeah. That's the only reason I felt comfortable streaming it. Look, Sticky's even telling me I'm going the wrong way. There must be a way through. Yeah, it just goes through the pot. Uh, you going to be playing the new Warzone with Stod Lackey and Westy soon? I hope so, yeah. 60 seconds. Oh, it's delayed, I see. No, I just wanted to play it, Flying Octopus. Just to see how bad it was. Well, I showed the trailers at the start, just because it's such a huge difference to what they showed uh i mean this looks like that area of the last of us hang on this was in one of the trailers wasn't it look interiors that you can go in i don't believe it are the finals released as well why is there a workbench here yeah i haven't played the final since it came out I did do a video on it because we were part of a, like, early access capture session about a week before. You can't go upstairs. All the upstairs just blocked off. I'm dying of thirst. Oh, yeah. Thank you for pointing it out, Sid. Mm, delicious soda. It's just over here. I don't think that scope fits on the M4. Declan. Maybe it does. No, I can't be bothered to do that though. Hmm, delicious salt. I thought some zombies, but no people. So annoying, dude, having to get you <laughs> your map out every time. <laughs> Waiting for me with a car. I don't know if you're serious or not, Mr. Green. It, it, this is making me want to play The Last of Us now. Yeah, Anarchist. It is just the same area. So where is it? Is it just inside the building? Happy holidays, Em. Thank you. Red smoke. Oh my god. Wait, no, don't shoot. Don't shoot him. No, no, don't shoot. Don't shoot. I think that's the guy who said he was waiting with the car. He's, he's cool. I think he's cool. Look, it's a real car. Can I drive it? Can I see if there's mud? Thank you. Enter car. Oh, baby. <laughs> I mean, I was going to extract, but now... <laughs> I mean, what... What do we do? 
I bet this is a store asset as well. Can we see the mud? Go to outskirts. Okay. I'll like over here. Over the bridge. Oh yeah, over there. That looks like the bridge. Hold on, you take me. Take me where you want me to go. Oh god. Wait. There is a UFO. Go on, you take me. Yeah, you drive, you drive. That's so weird, you have to press it twice. Okay, go. Get in sticky. Let's go. This guy must have uh, followed me on the server. Is it crazy that a game came out that was worse than Gollum? You know what? I didn't even play that Gollum game because it looked that bad. Uh, has it lagged? No. Has he lagged out? I think he lagged out. The car's broken. The car is broken. Look, I can't drive it. Oh, dearie me. I don't know what happened. Yeah, it's, it's broken. Okay, well, that was... Uh, his game crash. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, uh, that's good. Um... 10 out of 10, IGN, would, uh, would recommend. Oh, is it working now? Is he back? Whoa. Okay, take me, to, take me to the outskirts. We just stole this man's car. I'm sorry, dude. I don't, I'm not driving. I can't even open my map when I'm in the back of this. Thank you for the 20, Extreme God. I want to see this UFO. Yeah, Sticky, go to the outskirts go to the UFO. I don't know. Th this guy said there was a, a UFO. Is it broken? It looks broken, Sticky. I, th I think it's broken, isn't it? Can't even enter it now. There you go. All right, get in, Sticky. Press Q. Oh, the engine wasn't started. No, it hasn't crashed again. It's fine. So, hold on. I'm just going to look at the map. What did he mean by outskirts? Is there a place on the map called outskirts? Or does he just mean go north? Across the bridge. That bridge? Could be that bridge. So follow, take a left, left, and then run. Left, left, left. Is he in? He's in. Roadkill. Okay, that was quite vicious and brutal. There's a gas station. Thank you for the membership, Extreme God. How do I refuel it? 
Do I have to get this? No, you just loot it? Is he doing it? There you go. Um, I need space for that. Overweight. Refuel. Oh my god, that takes so long. Wow. A few eternities later. Thank you, Extreme God. The cross bridge to the left. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, let's go. Jump in. Jump in my car. I want to take you home. Can it be played offline? I don't think so. It's going to be dead soon. I think they're going to kill the servers within a month or something. I mean, my mum's car. Yes. I can't tell if I've got a boost or something. Doesn't feel like it. Scratch the paint there. I will laugh as if there's mud physics. <laughs> I think it's this way. Let me just double check. Yeah. So stupid you can't open the map when you're driving. This was secretly The Last of Us Online. You think so? Thirsty again. I can't open my inventory though. So I have to get out. Where are the zombies? I don't know, Embryo. I don't know where they are. Sometimes you get them in the city. Sometimes they spawn right in front of you. I wonder if you could find that bit in the trailer. I have to go down and around. God, I'm going to break this, aren't I? Go down here. There's a rock there, guys. The llama zone. What the hell does that mean? Is the bit that's in that trailer with the mud physics actually in the game? Milk. Milky. Drink milky. Survive. <laughs> they don't exist, Sarcotic. They literally don't exist. Okay. I'm just going to make a left.
Yeah. I'm going. Jump in. There you go. There you go. There you go. Look, he has to look at the prompt. <laughs> if he doesn't look at the prompt and follow it, he can't get in. Oh, it's a bit rocky. No destruction there. No, oh, no, 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 no. Dice. What are we stuck on? Oh, no. Why? Come on. Is he trying to push it? Wait, did I just hear another car? Oh, come on. How am I stuck on that, dude? That's ridiculous. Look, it's a massive Hummer. Where's the traction? Oh, maybe if I keep doing this. Nah, it's ruined. Hummer defeated <laughs> by that. <laughs> you have a go. See if you can do it. Ah, oh, DICE did say that they patched this. Alright, I'm gonna follow you, Sticky. Show me the UFO. That's the Tesla truck, for sure. <laughs> I think he's looking at his map. Oh, he's eating. I should've just got on the road, shouldn't I? I didn't realise there was a road there. Even though I looked at the map about 50 times. A gunshot? That can't be real. Oh, there's a car. There's a car. Is that the same guy? Come, come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got the Lambo though. Look at this. Looks like a Bugatti. <laughs> yeah, yo. Look at this. Damn. Sticky. Can you get on the top? Get on the top, Sticky. <laughs> Batman pulled up. I got a fatal error. Okay, uh... Can you tell me where to go? Where do we see this UFO? Is it up here? That's so loud. Can you guys still hear me? That is so loud for me. Wait, that's about the way we came, isn't it? I think that's about the way we came. Right in the mud. Beware of rocks. See, yeah, I know. I mean, this is where I went before. Wait, there's a little path there, isn't there? On the map there was, anyway. Can it drift? kind of do that right if you take me you take me to where you want to go i don't know where i'm going okay go have i found anything fun yet no <laughs> guys i don't see the mud physics That's not the same. <laughs> That's not the same. <laughs> Leave me. I'm stuck in a hole in the map. No, Sticky. Well, he's living up to his name. 
Yeah, that's not... That doesn't look the same, dude. Yeah, that's definitely not the same. Can you show me the UFO? Show me the UFO. I don't know how to type. How do I type? I suppose he's watching the stream. I don't know where it is. Oh! I thought, sorry, I thought you were insinuating you knew where it was. That's okay. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go to an extraction point now. I don't know what's wrong with Sticky. Can we go see, can we help him? Maybe we can help Sticky. It sounds like he's over here somewhere. Real Sticky Yiggy. Oh wait. He said he fell into a hole in the map. <laughs> Rescue him. Okay, sounds like he's up here. I want to fall into the hole. Here he is. There he is. I think he's, he's here. Maybe he can get in the car. Where's the hole in the map? I don't see the hole. Got out. Okay, good job, Sticky. Right, um... Can you take me to... Extraction, please. There's just a hole here. Where hole? Where is hole? Oh, he dropped something. Jack's found an Uber. <laughs> what the hell? Look at this. All these modifications. Eat. Hmm. Oh look, he hasn't even opened it. UFO up this left side of the map. Left side of the map. Bro, I love how an Easter egg is the most exciting thing that we found this whole time. Bloody hell. Look at this. Absolute, absolute Chad? What are these guns? <laughs> Jesus. All hail King Sticky. Yeah, to be honest, these guys have, have saved this game. This has been the most exciting thing. Check this out. What's he got? He's holding something. He's holding nothing. That's a grenade. Yep. I ex I mean, I think everyone expected that to happen. <laughs> there you go. Death by invisible grenade. What do I think of the GTA 6 trailer? It looks incredible. Okay, extraction. So back to the road and then across the bridge, take a left. I don't care about taking backpacks, to be honest. Like, I just, I'm going to uninstall after this, so. Let's go, Sticky. Jump in. Real physics. Ow. Why is it the loudest thing in the game by far? It's so loud. be a red smoke somewhere here. Go 
Christ, it actually turned to night time as well. I've gone, f I've gone way too far. I'm an idiot. Come on, Sticky. Let's go. Yeah, I don't have much fuel. Down there. God. Die. Is there mud defamation in the game? Um. Mm, no. It's nothing like they showed in the trailer. Do I get to keep the car? You just drive into it, that's it. <laughs> wow, incredible. What a great game. Wow. Why does it bring me back here? I want to go see Chris. I don't, that's a lie. Hang on. That's literally the gate that I just came through. And it's gonna... <laughs> it's gonna just put me back in the other place, isn't it? There we go. The day before, guys. You have entered the danger zone. Collect as much valuable... No, I'm pretty sure right now Woodbury. I'm in Woodbury. And this isn't the danger zone. I'm pretty sure I'm back... In the safe zone. <sighs> right, guys, I'm gonna end it there. Thank you for watching. As I mentioned at the start, if you bought this game, even if you've played more than two hours, ask for a refund on Steam and you'll probably get one. But that's the day before. Two years of hype, insane trailers, and this is what we got. I don't understand it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I think there's a lot of lessons to be learned here, isn't there? <laughs> Appreciate you being here. Drop me a like. Subscribe for more. There's going to be a ton of awesome videos coming up in the next week or so. Now I'm back. I can, you know, get on the... All those games that I missed when I was away. Yeah, pour one out for Sticky. Sticky's the MVP. And also Unknown, whoever they were. Thank you for joining, whoever you were. I'll, I'd salute you if there was an emoji for how I was feeling. But I, d I don't think there is. But yeah, I'm off. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.